Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Mixed Girl POV, where I share my point of view on what's good. Hey everyone, how have you been? I hope that you have been doing well. I miss you guys and I am sending so much love to you. I thought I would stop on by, say hi, and also address the hottest topic for this past two weeks. I have been on a break from my YouTube channel. I'm still kind of on break and hoping to come back regularly soon. Today I'm dropping two videos, this one and a hilarious parody right after I post this one. So if you're watching this video now, please, Click on the next video because I am uploading these two back to back. Real quick, I do want to give you an update. Some of you may be aware that my grandma was really sick this past year and I wanted to announce sadly that she did pass away and I love her, I miss her and may she rest with the angels. And once again, thank you to everyone who had you know, said that you were praying for her and everything. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much, everyone. Well, what's been going on these past two weeks? How about this? Let's get our popcorn and our favorite drink as we watch how those on the left have been eating themselves up over this Will Smith topic. OMG, we all know what has happened, so I am not going to recap that. Everyone knows about the slap that was heard around the world, the slap that was seen around the world. Heck, the slap, we all know about that. But the thing that I've observed that's been going on is that those on the left are so divided. Have you seen that? It's like they haven't known they don't know which way to fall on this because if they're on Chris Rock's side, they're, they're going down on, another, on an African-American man. If they go on Will Smith's side, they are also going down, like going negative on an African-American man. This is the best show ever. I mean, have you been eating your popcorn? Like for real, like they haven't figured out what to do, you know, they're, those in Hollywood are Hollywood elitist, a tiny group of all of America, right? And they just are like, I don't know, I don't know. And I have found it very entertaining to say the least. Some people are coming out in support of Will Smith. Some have come out against Will Smith. And I think they're a little upset. What do you, what do you think? I think they're partly upset because this does not play into their narrative. Two African-American men in one toxic, bad situation. Man, you can't make this stuff up. We all know what would have happened if Will Smith was a Caucasian man. Would anyone give him a pass on his behavior? Heck to the freaking no. No one would give that man a pass. He would be canceled before you can finish saying the word cancel. He would be canceled, blacklisted. People would be boycotting their movies or their concerts or their games. The, the person would face so much negative backlash. I mean, no one on the left would give him a pass, would they? Now, what if Chris Rock was the actor, The Rock? Would Will Smith pranced on up there and slap the mess out of him? Hmm, I think not. I believe that Chris Rock was a victim of Will Smith's pent up anger and frustration over various things that have probably been going on in his life for who knows how long. Chris Rock was a smaller guy. Will Smith, taller, bigger guy. He was the bully of the night. He stole the show. 
by bullying that smaller man on TV. But what is interesting is that even though Will Smith picked on the smaller man, who really won in the end? Who ended up being the bigger man? It was Chris Rock for how he handled the situation with as much dignity and grace as he could. I understand there are some who believe that Chris Rock was in the wrong for coming after Will Smith's wife. I respect your opinion, totally. However, if I was Jada, if I was the wife in that situation, and my husband, and I saw him start getting up and getting ready to march up there, I personally would not have just sat back at all, you know, just acted like, sure, go right on ahead and act a fool in front of the international world. I would have been the wife trying to calm him down, trying to get him to stay, you know, stay seated, stay here. And if you need to address something with Chris Rock, Please do it after the show, privately. And then if you want to address it to the whole world through your social media, which you have said was your bread and butter, then you can put Chris Rock on blast until the cows come home. Fine. You could go onto your social media and say, hey, I had a chat with him. I let him know it wasn't cool, blankety blank. And you could type away and swipe away and it would be fine. I really don't believe that Will Smith handled that situation well at all. I don't give him a pass. He gets no passes from me and he gets no passes from quite a few people. I haven't seen a poll on this, but it kind of seems like, you know how we're kind of split down the middle when it comes to Republicans and Democrats? It's kind of like that. It seems about like half people support Will and say, go, 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 yeah, get your slap on. And the other half is like, no, bro, there's another way. Preach peace and love, not violence and hate. There's a mature way of going about things. There's a right way and a wrong way with going about things. And I feel personally, as though Will Smith handled it, if you could have a checklist of all the things he did wrong. There's a list. You know, every scenario was wrong. And if people can't take a joke, get some tougher skin, some thicker skin. And for those who go to comedy shows, don't go. Very simple. Don't go watch a comedian on TV if you're very sensitive. Don't go. It's very simple. Don't support the person. But we're getting to this place where comedians are kind of like they can't really say stuff because no matter what they say or do somebody got their feelings hurt somebody's in their feelings cry me a river we we need to to toughen up a little bit or just leave don't leave the world of comedy alone and don't support it if you don't like what they say if I know there's a particular comedian who's very vulgar, um, sexist or racist or whatever, whatever, if I am super bothered by that, do you think I'm going to pay money to go see that person? Am I going to watch their comedy special on TV and stuff? Heck to the freaking no. We all could do that. Anyways, my last question is this. What? should have been the punishment. The Academy just punished him a couple of days ago. They gave him 10 years from being banned, going to the glitz and glam of the Academy Awards. I feel as though he should have been permanently banned and he should have had to give back the statue. That's how I feel. I know there's a lot of people who do feel that way. That the Academy didn't go far enough. If he was permanently banned and gave back his award, I believe that would be an example to all the current 
actors and people involved with the Academy and those who are up and coming. You know, we have children and teens and young adults who dream one day of winning an Oscar. I myself was one of them. Professional acting is something that I had hoped and dreamed to do. One day I wanted to walk across the stage and get my Oscar for Best Actress. So we need to deter folks from thinking about wanting to do this again. No one should be doing their job and just get assaulted for doing their job. It wasn't a violent job. He's not, you know, Chris Rock was just up there doing his thing. I didn't watch the entire show, but I have heard and seen snippets and there were people doing way worse than what Chris Rock did or said. There were people doing some crazy stuff and saying some real foul, crazy stuff. Who's calling them out for their behavior? Well, those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts about the hottest topic going on right now. So let's talk. What do you think would have happened if Will Smith had been a Caucasian man walking up there, slapping the mess out of Chris Rock? Do you think that Will Smith would have smacked the rock if it was he that was standing up there if that was the rock would chris excuse me would will smith go up there and slap the mess out of him and also what do you think the punishment should have been do you agree with the academy's decision or do you think there were some other punishments that would have been that would have been better Please let me know your comments down in the comment section below. And don't forget, check out my next video.